Hi everyone, um, welcome once again um, to this part of this um, course. And this is going to be the part two of the um, web development course. And um, if this is your first time of watching this video, please, I'm going to drop the link to the first part of the video so that you can understand um, what we are talking about. And I said um, at the end of this course, you will be able to build um, a professional website from scratch so if you have never code before you have never written any code before so this is the first class you should watch and and this is just the past two of the class so if you want to really watch the first part of the video um just check the description below to check the parts one of the world of the video so right now i'm still talking about html you understand and um in this video i'm going to be talking about um html tags you understand but now let us quickly recall from our last class um in our last class um we were able to you know display something on our um, web browser and we we're also able to uh, to you know download our text editor and um, this is where we actually stopped in the last class now to um navigate through this now you have to go back to the file we created in the first video which was the first class and i think um it's on your desktop computer i don't know where you save yours but mine is on my desktop computer now, if you click on that my site, that's the folder I created. If you are following me, just for now, please just try to follow whatever I'm going to be doing for you, so that you are not going to miss it. All right, now, so let's open that um, my site folder, the one you created on your desktop in the first video, right? I'm going to open it, and when you open it, you are going to have your your first um, file, which is what the index.html, the one you created initially. So you know how to check it on your browser. Just click on it, and um, you know it's going to load on your what on your browser. Now let us go back to that particular file again. Now this time around, uh, you are going to right click um, on that particular file, the index file on that same folder, my site. When you right click it, um, you click on open with, can you see now? You want to open it with what? With Visual Studio Code. So that's going to take you to the world, to the code environment, to the, uh, what's it called? The particular folder on your VS Code, you understand? So let me um, recapitulate. I said, on that your folder, you click on the folder you created initially, which was my site folder. Then on the index.html file, you right click. By the time you right click on it, you um, are going to click on what open with, then you select what Visual Studio Code. And that's the code editor we are going to be using throughout this course. And in case you have other um, text editor or code editor, you can also open it with your favorite text editor. But um, for the sake of this class, I'm going to be suggesting you use um, Visual Studio Code. All right. So let's get started now. I'm going to open this particular project on the code editor. All right, so let's wait for it to load. Okay, right, I'm here. Yeah, that's it, right? So now let me go. Um, uh, let's quickly um, talk about um, a kind of um, brief um, revision about the last class. In the last class, I talked about um, the um, the um, the HTML structure, whereby we talk about the um, the opening tag and the word and the closing tag and for example now i said an html structure usually is usually formatted in this way it's going to have what the um, angle bracket um you you put an exclamation exclamation mark there then the doc type then space html then you close the word angle bracket normally html is usually written in um in and enclosed bracket of um, the less than and greater than, than you can also call it what angle bracket you understand that's where you're going to write your html code and i said in the f last class that word you know how to um, write the html it's going to start with what the, the the first tag which is what html that html is the first tag and is what is the opening tag you understand is the opening tag why the one that has the slash after the less than is what is what the, the closing tag so this is your file now. This is the HTML. You understand? This is the document we are writing. And I said the other day that what inside the HTML, you know that I'm writing HTML now. So inside it again, we have another tag, which is what the head tag. The head tag again, we have the opening tag, which is what is going to contain the less than and the um, greater than sign. Then you write the head inside. Then the closing will also have what the less than followed by slash, kind of four, four slash. But you also write the head again and the what the closing. Uh, and the word the, you, you you write a greater than sign you understand that means you have already what open the head tag and you have already closed it here 
And I said, inside the head, you have so many things running on your head, you know, so many stuff, so your, your whatever, it's on your hair, you understand, your skull and everything. So that's why we now have a tie to. So what, now, for example, now if I look at you, now I can't see your brain now. I can't see what's on your head. I can't even see your skull. So those tie two have been located in the, in the world, in the head. So the tie two itself is a tag. And it has what? An opening tag and also what? A closing what? Tag. So in between the opening and the closing tag, that's when you're going to write whatever content you want to what? write. So now, inside my head tag now, I have a tie two. And I told you in that scatter, what? The tie two is going to contain those things that you cannot actually um, see on your browser, like maybe... I'm talking about the content, you understand. You can't see whatever you write within the head tag, you understand, I'm saying now. But the other time, you know, when you wrote the title, it only showed on the word on the top um, right corner and um, left corner of the word of the um, of the browser, which is this my site title. Let me quickly close close this my other tabs because I've done a lot today. Let me let me close it, okay? So I'm going to be left with this alone now. So this is your title, my site title, the one you actually um, wrote between the word head tag, right? Now, but you can see now that what if it's on the head tag, this is the head tag here now. You have the title tag here as well. It's not going to display. Um, it's not going to display in the browser like this. You understand? Whatever is being displayed here is written in the body, in the body tag. Okay. So that's what and I said. Okay, fine. If you want something to display in your browser, you have to create another tag, which is what the body. Don't forget all that thing inside the HTML tag between the opening and the closing tag of the HTML, right? Now, in your body now, you create a body opening tag. You know, the opening tag is just, just going to contain the legend and greater sign. And then um, you write the body name of the tag there. Then the closing tag will contain what um, less than. Then you put a false slash. Then you, you write the body tag, and which is the name of your tag. Then you close it again with the greater than sign. All right. So inside the body now, that's where you can now start displaying whatever you want. Maybe you want editing, you want this and that, you want button, you want this and that's where your content is going to show. And in the last class, we we actually, um, you know, we talk about the H1 tag, whereby you wrote coding is fun, then a paragraph tag, which is what I love coding, right? Every day. And that is what has been displayed on our browser. Wow, that's cool. All right, today I'm going to be talking about the HTML tag fully so I can understand the concept very well. So um, I told you I'm not going to be giving you more of theory. You know, if you want to read, um, if you want to read about HTML or about anything, I'm going to suggest you visit W3 School. You can read a lot there. You understand? So I'm not going to be telling you stories about those stuff. But for the sake of this video, let me brief you um, about HTML tags. An HTML tag um, is actually an HTML code that defines every structure on an HTML page. It defines every structure. On an HTML, if I'm if I'm going to be using heading, then the correct tag is what is H tag. It can be H1, it can be H2, it can be H3, it can be whatever up to H6. So if I need a paragraph now, the, the what is going to determine what I needed is what is the tag. So I need the paragraph. So and the tag, the name of that paragraph tag is what is going to be what the P tag. And don't forget, it's going to have what a opening and sorry an opening and also what a closing word tag. So, for example, now let, let's quickly start with um, this H1 tag. Now, I don't want to erase anything. Now, let's go back now. Now, let's start with H1 tag. I'm going to write it now. Don't forget, if you want to write a less than sign, you just create um, less than, then you, you, you write H1. I'm going to start with this H1 tag now. H1 is what? Adding. You understand now? And when you have H1 tag, you see, automatically VS Studio has already helped me to, 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 to close the tag. So what I just need to do is just to write whatever I want to write in between. You understand? So if your own is not doing that, please let me know so that I can tell you what to do or how to fix it. It's supposed to be um, completing it for you. You understand? So but by I mean manually, once you type your words, if you want to write your opening tag, it's very simple. Just write your words, your 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 legs down and your words and your greater than. That's it. And inside that one, you write what the name of the tag. I want to write H1, which is what heading tag, heading tag one. Then it needs a closing tag. I'll, be, I'll also put what a, a less than again there. Then um, I'll put a four slash. Then I'll put a word, um, the, the, the greater than sign. I'll write my H1 inside again. So it has to be the same, right? The only difference between the opening and the closing tag is just what is the four, four slash. You understand? So in between it now, what's going to be my heading? Now I'm going to write this is. is the okay let me write this is what h1 h1 tag 
you understand h1 tag is the biggest of all the headings you understand is the that's the biggest right followed by what h2 let's talk, let's, see, let's see how h2 is going to look like all right i'm going to write um this is oh let me i want it to be the same uh what's it called the same stuff let it be um small letter ultra so that you so that it's not look um different in your now this is h1 tag i'm going to write what this is what h2 tag i'm just going to copy this to say uh you are going to do a lot of copy and paste your stand just that it's not advisable when you are working on some stuff otherwise you'll just be making some errors as a beginner just like try to do stuff yourself okay all right so i'll paste this here and i'm going to write this is what h2 tag let's see the differences between them now i also have h2 depending on what you want to do you know you know by the time you start designing the website or whatever you know at least your website should be good looking and um you know you are not going to use a bigger anyway you're supposed to use a smaller one so you should be able to have a kind of um i mean design kind of concept you understand design you should also know the theory of the design you understand let's talk about the h2 tag and let's see how it looks like h2 tag and um, you close it as usual helps you to close it that's why i love vs studio i'm going to write this is what h3 tag all right what again let's quickly talk about h4 so that at least you get what i'm saying better now let's talk about h4 h4 right um this is what h4 tag then um, the, uh, i'm going to talk about um, h5 h5 tag your stand and this is this h5 tag right and the last one h6 wow let's talk about it now h6 and this is um this is this excuse me this is what h6 tag all right let's see how it looks like on the browser you go to your browser since you already opened that file on your browser before so you don't need to start going to the file let's refresh i see now the biggest tag is what the h1 tag followed by what the h2 tag followed by what the h3 tag followed by the h4 you know and the smallest is h6 so depending on what you want but let me tell you this now by default your browser is going to give its own styling to to your html tag your stand to whatever it's, it has a default um styling and by the time you inspect yeah you, if you want to inspect this particular page now just right click your mouse on that particular page then go to inspect can you see it and um, by the time you inspect this now you see you notice that yes if you go to this side where you have the styles here there is a i mean there's a uh, what's it called default um css styling here and it's in a display block margin uh block starts once one em all those things those are the default word styling that your browser is going to give to it you understand what i'm trying to say now so but in this particular video and um you know in this particular section of this course we are going to be talking about html strictly your stand and um in and the subsequent video we'll be talking about how you can give our own customized styling you can decide to make your html h2 be bigger than your h1 if you like you can style it the way you want but by default your brother is going to give it what the default word styling all right what do i need to show you again now we are still on that tag let's go back to the code so that's your editing tag now in the um in the beginning of this video i told you something about um tags i said the um a, a tag is just um an html code that defines every structure on an html page including the placement of text and images if i need to place an image now there's a tag for it which is what the image tag so if i need to to to, to place a paragraph now what do i need to use i'll use the paragraph tag and i'll i'll write the word opening tag which is what um the the, the less than i'll put the p there i'll close it then uh, you know it's going to complete it for me then i can write this is um my paragraph can i see it now so that's it all right let's load it now and let's see now what's going to happen can you see now so that's it right okay now let me introduce you to something now in case you need text or whatever now go to this extension that is here hmm? Yes, this part that's, that's the last uh, uh what's it called okay i think that's a one two three four fifth icon you have in your vs code 
click on it and um, search for um, I think Domi Domi test D U M M Y I think Domi yeah Domi text generator. So you click on it and you install it. Domi text generator. So it's going to be able to um help you to generate random text. So you can see there are a lot of plugins that you can use with um, VS Studio. There are lots that can make your you know work very easy and faster you understand so i'm trying to install the dummy text generator so that we can generate a random text all right so let's wait for it to be installed um let's wait for it to be installed i think uh, am i on the oh, yeah i'm connected all right oh okay yeah i think it, uh, it's it's unable to open it but at least it has been installed now just try to check your own here now how do, how do i use this one now for example now i have a paragraph let's get another paragraph tag you open the, I mean, angle bracket, which is the less than sign. You put your P here, and you close it, right? Inside it, it's, got, it's already giving you a cursor. Now, write lorem. How many words do you need? I need 20 words, right? I write lorem 20. L-O-R-E-M 20. Then you click on it. You can see it's going to generate 20 words for you. Then by the time you save it, press Ctrl S and save it. When you press Ctrl F, I mean Ctrl S rather, then you 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 go to your browser and refresh. Let's see now. So I already have a paragraph that contains what you know 20 words. You can count it, but I don't have the time. All right. What do I need to tell you about tags again? Okay. Um, you know, let me tell you something about tags again. There are two um, should I say classes of tags? Hmm? We have the um the inline tags and we also have the what the, the block tag. You understand? Now, for example, now these tags that we have here. By default, they are what they are block tag. I you see now this H1 now. You know, by the time I put this first H1 coding his phone, and I also put another tag here, automatically it comes under it. Even if I try to copy this paragraph here and put it beside it, let's let's cut it and put it beside this H1 uh, coding his phone and I save it. Let's see what's gonna happen. Can you see still the same thing? Yes, it's still gonna be under it. I love coding, it's gonna be under because by default. They are block. So when when something is block, it means when the when some when the display is block, it means they are going to display under under each other like this. This is a tag. This is a, this is a tag. This is a tag. A tag. A tag. A tag. A tag. A tag. So by default, these tags are what are are, are, are the block type of what of, of 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 tags that we have. You understand? Even the paragraph, I decide to put another paragraph here, it's going to come under it. That's why it's that whatever I did is displaying. Um, over each other, like you understand, H1, H2, whatever. Those two that were the block, um, the block tags. However, you also have what the inline what tags. So let me quickly give you an example of inline tags and how to use it. For example, now this is a paragraph here now, and you know on you know on most of those blocks you see something like um click here to you know to you know to learn more or something like that. So within this paragraph now, okay, let me just write a text here now. Let 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 me change so I can get what I'm saying better. I'll go to the last um, words there. I'll erase it and I'll, I'll, I'll write, click here. L-I-C-K. Yeah, this is click here, right? Now, look at it now. If I want to include an inline tag here now, an example of inline tag is what? The A tag, which is what? The um the hyperlink. Okay, sorry, anchor, anchor tag, yes. The I, anchor tag, yes. The A tag is what is the anchor tags and it enables you to what, you know, to, um you know, to create the links and you know put a URL in your what's it called um put to insert and um what's it called URL inside your what's your 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 link your something now so for example now if I want to create an inline tag and I'm going to create an a tag which is called the anchor tag you 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 create your what you 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 click on the left uh what's it called on the what's it called the the the, the, the less than arrow or the less than sign as usual I want to create a tag and I'll put a there then I also close it your stand by Creating the lamb greater than sign automatically it's also going to um create the closing tag for me. That's the work of VS Studio. I don't need to start doing that myself. So you can you see now the I have the A tag here now, which is what less than and I put the A inside it and I also click with what will greater than sign. That's the opening tag. For the what's it called? The less um the the, 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 the closing tag, I also have the less than sign again, but I have the slash, then I also have the name of that tag, which is A, then I also have the word the greater than sign, and that's the tag now. The click here now. I want you to be inside this thing now, inside this tag. You understand? I'm trying to say now. I'll just go here and write um, click. Okay, say like C K. Okay. Now this is another tag now inside a paragraph tag. 
you understand i'm writing this part this this a tag inside this can you see now that this is a p tag you understand this is a p tag i have the p opening tag and i have the text inside but inside of it again again i have another word anchor tag which is a tag and a tag inside the p tag i see the p ending tag so this means what this a tag is also inside what a tag but let's look at what is going to happen now you see now it's going to display inside it it's not going to come down like the other one because it's an inline tag and let me now refresh now oh let me refresh okay fine click here right nothing is happening right yes nothing will happen in fact if you have a tag even if the tag is is is, is meant to do something and um, even if it's a button and um, that that means that tag is not complete a tag is not it's not complete without what an attribute so a tag usually needs what an attribute though there are some tags that you might try to leave like that like the h1 tag now you might try not to even include any attribute there but you know how to manipulate it very well at least you can decide to say okay i want the i want the color of this one to, to be this and that i want your stand you you can decide to set your attribute and quickly that's what is going to um uh, that's what i'm going to be using to introduce us to what to uh what they call attributes so now let's talk about it very well now now in this one now this is click here but it's not is working now right it's but what i'm just trying to tell you that this is a tag inside a tag you understand inside the paragraph tag but it's displaying in the same line as an example of what inline words inline uh tag all right now in order to make this thing um function in the right way i need an attribute right this a tag now an attribute is usually written i mean it's always written in what in the in, in the in the opening tag your sound friends here now. I have the A tag here. This is the opening tag here. Let's give it a space. Then I want this thing to be able to. This is, I want it to be able to what link to maybe probably another page or take them to another page or maybe another um, web address or whatever. So inside this A tag that I have here now, I can write my attribute there. Uh, um, one of the attributes is what href. Href. Now if you want to write the attribute now. You write href. Then you write is equals to. You write is equals to. Then you put the word um. You put um double quotes are you there now that's it right so now this attribute now let's say when they click on this button now i want you to i'm on this a click here i want you to link to my website which is what lecrosoft.com what are you going to do now just write https because my site is secured so https then you put double slash then you what put lecrosoft.com all right now let me quickly recapitulate this is what I'm saying now. I'm talking about attribute now. If you want to read about attribute, please go to W3 um, School to read about it. And again, I'm going to tell you something now that is very important. And you know, as a web designer, you you and Google, you are friends. You understand? That's your that's your number one partner in this in this journey. So that's why I always say you must be connected. Whenever you are stuck, you don't have to cram everything. Whenever you just to have the idea and know what you need at a particular time. Whenever you need it and you you feel that yes, oh, ah, probably I can't remember this thing again go to your word best friend which is what google all right let's talk about it now so now i created um i created um an, an alcohol tag which is what a tag and it has an opening and what the closing tag as usual inside the paragraph tag now in, in, inside the opening tag of that anchor tag i decided to place an attribute that yes this is a tag but if if well, okay fine this is click here well okay if they click on this button now, where is it going to go? Where, where am I going to specify um, the URL or or, or, or or the link I want this thing to do? You understand to, to go. So I said to what use a a, a tag which is called href. So an attribute rather. This an attribute. href is an attribute that can be written inside a tag. href. You cannot you cannot just write href like that and you you know it's not a tag. It will not work. But I told you the other time that what the tag will determine what the the, the what they call the the, um, the structure. You what I'm trying to say now. So you cannot just expect it to just work like that. You have to what put an attribute there. You what I'm trying to say now. All right. Let us load this page. Let us refresh this page and let's save. Let us save it now and see what's going to happen. All right. Because I already have a link here now. You can see it's even showing me. Like let's click on it now. Let's click on this one. Let's see. Should take it to my site if everything is fine. Okay, I think it's I think I think the page is um the page is what refreshing. Alright, let's wait for it now. It should take it to my site. Yeah, wow. So you can just try it. You can you know we are going to do more of this. See if you are not getting this now, don't worry because 
you are going to be um, doing more of this and you are going to get it. You know, sometimes um, probably on your site, you want to create a link that will link to Facebook, do that and this and that, you understand. So definitely you are going to be using that. We are going to be doing more of it. But the best, the most important thing for now is to, to, to be able to, I mean, go along with the class, try your best. If you are not getting it, you have the comment section towards to, um, if you ask a question, you can also um, join my um, um, software develop, my, um, developer group and you ask a question. I'll be always there to, to support you. This is my um, website. And the, mind you, um, Lecrosoft Technologies is the one sponsoring this, um, this class. You know, you can check our website, you know, if you have any project to give us, you know, you can. You are always available to work, to work on your work, on your future projects, be it your, your school project or, you know, just visit our website and you contact us for that. All right, let's go back to our project. Can you see something now? When I click on that link, it automatically, um, you know, um, routes the, what's it called, the, the initial page to another page, which is, um, sometimes it might, it might not want that. You understand? Sometimes you might want it to, you might want it to such a way that whenever your, your link is being clicked, if you open that URL in another tab, instead of what opening, instead of routing it to, I mean, and taking over what the 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 the, the, the what's it called the, the page, you understand? Maybe for example now your, your user is in your website now, and you want them to be able to visit your Instagram page, and when they click on it again, it's just just going to open the Instagram page and cover up your website like that. So in order to solve that, there's another attribute hmm, that you're going to do. That attribute can can be used to manipulate your tags. You understand? Now, this is a tag. A tag is just there without doing nothing. But if I want you to be able to possess some characteristics, I'm going to what? Include an attribute. So, one of the attributes is what? href. Which, so, if you want, let's do this now. Go to Google and just type HTML attribute. You understand? H-T-T-R-I-T-U-B-T-E-S. You see a lot of attributes there. And I told you, I'm not going to be telling you more story, but I'm going to be using those ones that are very important. So if you go to this place now, you see HTML attribute. You understand? So can you see now? This is just what we talk about now. We have the A tag and we have the href. Href is an attribute that, that is going to um, um, reference um, a URL. It's going to be uh, it's going to refer to a particular URL. Now inside the href, now you have equals to then you have what double quote. Inside double quote, you can place your your URL there. You understand? What I'm trying to say now, and this is in, um, the name of the stock. So that's it, right? There are a lot of attributes here. Stand an HTML element and have attributes. Attribute provide additional information about what element. Hmm? The attributes are always specified in the start tag. I already said that earlier. Attributes usually come in name, value pairs. Like name is equals to what? Blah blah blah. Equals to. You understand? What I'm trying to say now. That's attribute. So there are a lot of attributes. There are a lot of HTML attributes that you can watch, you can study, you can read about, but for the sake of this class, we are going to be talking about those ones that are very, very important. Okay, let's talk about the summary now. We have what the href attribute of what is usually used with the word with the anchor tag. You understand what I'm saying now? Because once you have an anchor, it's meant for link now. Be really it's going to need an attribute that will enable you to, to specify the URL. So that's why the href usually go with what with the A tag. A is the tag, don't forget. Now we also have the SLC attribute, which is the source. The source usually go with the word the IMG tag, which is the word image tag. Hmm? We are going to be talking about this as we go as we go with the class. There are a lot of attributes, and uh, let's just leave this for now. And um, you know, let's move on. Let's move on. Um, oh, all right. Okay. Um, let's go back to our page, and that's it, right? Let's quickly solve this now. What about if I want this to be in such a way that when they click on this thing, I want you to open in the word in a new tab. Then let's go my let's go to my um, my code inside that um, attribute. I can, inside this particular tag, I can specify as many attributes as I want. The only thing I just going to need to do is what go out of that double quote and give it a space. So which attribute am I going to use again? I'm going to use the attribute called what target T A R G E T. It's an attribute. If it's an attribute, then really it's going to carry an equals to sign. The target is equals to what? You put a word, a double quote again, and you write underscore blank, B L A N K. Are you with me? So this is an attribute href. It has equals to equals to what? Double quote. Whatever you want to write inside, will be inside a double quote, right? Then I want to write another attribute because I felt that yes, I want this thing to be able to what, open in another page. To be able to open in what in a new tab. I don't want you to 
take over my world my page because the other time when i visited this site and i click on that link it's just go to my site and cover up this stuff and i don't want that you're still trying to see can you see now it's it's redirect what it's route to what another words you are uh, leaving my, my 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 page behind you understand but this time around using this article that i'm talking about the the the, the, the other attribute which is called what the the target mm -hmm. the target is equal to what um you put a double code there and you write underscore blank and let us now save now by the time we save now let's see what's going to happen all right and let's go to that browser again and let's refresh this time whenever you save and you want to see what you have done just refresh let me give, take this into english and forget about this all right now so right now let's click on it now let's see when i click on it what's going to happen now can you see it's going to open that lecture of technology in another tab that's the work of attribute hmm? that's the work of what of html attribute all right let's go back to our code let's go back to our code so that's that about what html tags and attributes there are so many html tags and we are going to be talking about it in the next videos you understand as we move on with our project because i said it's a practical class i'm not going to be giving you theory 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 and i want to keep this video as short as possible and uh, what do i need to talk about what do i need to talk about okay in my next video i'm going to be talking about um um html um tables and lists tables also a tag you know we have a lot of tags, but i don't want to match them together in a video so i'm going to be so, so i'm going to start doing it bit by bit so if you want to study um let's say you want to know about um the table now you'll be able to say okay let me let me let me watch the course on what on html table on html table you understand it now so in my next video i'm going to be talking about uh, html table and what and list and then uh, you know that's just it let me give you a recap and let's go back to what we have covered so far in this class we talk about um html tags and what attributes and lastly yes with the html tag and the attributes inside of it they are all called what html elements so this line like this this line you know it's it's um the paragraph it has um another tag inside it has attributes it has um another attribute here so they are called what html what element so you also read about what html what element all right so see you in the next what video don't miss it please if this is your first time of watching my video or if you have been watching my video and you are yet to subscribe please subscribe to my channel and that's just what i need from you please just subscribe so that it can keep me going and you know when when i see my subscriber going it encourage me you know it's you know it changes me to what to do more your stand please let's subscribe and if you don't want to miss my next video click on the bell icon to get notification thank you very much for watching this video if you have a question don't forget to ask me in the comment section or you watch or you 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 um you you join my whatsapp group then i'm going to be able to help you out all right, take care. Bye-bye.